All right, y'all. So in this video, we're gonna be doing. I'm just gonna do like a quick little POV, um, answering a qu answering some questions and stuff like that in the video of uh, driving the G8. So um, before the video start, let y'all know. Obviously, whenever I do this, y'all already know what it is. I'm letting y'all know we're doing a giveaway for the Rich Creations page. I will already have the link down below. I'm gonna tell y'all how to enter and all that stuff just in a few. So y'all getting this a little late. So we have about two days left on the giveaway. Um, what you're gonna want to do is, is go to our Rich, Rich Creations LLC on Facebook. I have the link down below. It's gonna be the first link. You click on the link, find the post, which won't take you, won't be hard. Um, I, if I can get the, the link to the post, I'll put it down below. Also, what you're gonna do is like that post, share the post, tag three people, and comment done underneath the post. And that's it. So the first winner, you're gonna be able to get a 12 ounce, a free 12 ounce um, coffee mug customized to your liking. So it could be powder coated. It can be fully custom with pictures or whatever on it. However you want it, that's how we're gonna do it. Um, this, and we're gonna be picking two winners, okay? So we got two winners. The first winner, you get a 12 ounce, a custom 12 ounce mug to your liking. The second one is gonna get a 20% 20, 20 uh, discount code to the website. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all a couple of, of the cups. So I know we have a lot of new people. And so we are doing this giveaway with with, uh, with my Rich Creation stuff with me, me and my sister. And then once I hit 2000 subscribers on this YouTube, on my YouTube page, I'm gonna also be doing the giveaway. I just don't know what I really wanna do. All right, so for the new people, that are new to the channel. Um, and uh, man, we have a lot of new people that are new to the channel. If you don't know, I make custom tumblers. Um, custom tumblers, I, we make, uh, we have our own brand, NTPO. So this is, this is our, me and my sister brand and our business, Rich Creations LLC. Well, we make the custom tumblers. Um, you can do, I have powder coated tumblers. If you go on the website, richcreationscode.com. If you go on the website, I have powder coated tumblers. As you can get, which are a lot simple. It's, the powder coat tumblers are simple. Um, you can pick two colors. You can pick, you can put a quote, some type of design or whatever. Uh, if you want something that's fully custom, obviously it's gonna cost more. We also do that. So I do the powder coated stuff and my sister take care of the more custom stuff that has like, I'll put pictures up. We have like the Harry Potter one where it's like UV activated. So I'll put a picture and a little video of that one. Uh, we also have, uh, what's another one? We just finished a Descendants one for um, a little girl. So we have, uh, we do just anything. I've done like a Goofy Cup. I've done, um, we've done a lot of different cups. Um, Rugrats, we did Mommy and Me, all that good stuff. So we've done a lot of different cups. Um, I'll put a bunch of uh, videos and pictures up right now that's going to be popping up as i'm speaking uh, some of the cups that we have um that we've done um uh, that's fully custom um obviously the powder coated stuff like i said y'all this would be um like the powder coated stuff i'll put a picture up i did i've done a couple matching some of the g8s and stuff so this is one um that's my own one that i do and then this is another one. These are all test cups that I have that I really don't use. I just strip them and reuse them to put a design on. So y'all can see, you got the holes in and all that stuff. So that more so be powder coated. You can do like a fade or two different colors. So if you want a cup or you want a shirt, make sure you go visit the website. Like I said, it's, just a, it's a POV of me driving the GA. Let's go ahead and get this video started. Got the G8 all warmed up. Okay, I'm about to answer y'all questions. 
the most common, one of the most common, and I think I made a video on this too, a common X question that people, I swear, I get like 10 people. Hold on, let me put y'all on my head. All right, so I'm trying to give y'all the best view I can of driving the G8 POV style and actually being able to see out of my damn eyes. So, I'm answering y'all questions, man. So I get this question about 10 times a month. Like I swear about 10 different people always message me on Instagram asking me, hey, should I buy a G8? Or hey, should I buy a, this G8? Is this a good deal? Whatever. So somebody recently asked me, I was like, oh, hmm, I'll make a video on it. So I'm probably not like, to be honest with y'all, I am probably not the best representative when it comes to the G8 community be for the simple fact that I mean I don't I've, to me I don't have the fastest G8 and I still I don't feel like I don't plus I'm not a mechanic and stuff either so I don't know I feel like there's a lot of die-hard G8 people out there especially especially whenever I uploaded the video about all the common problems um, and then you know, I feel like it upset some people, but I really don't care. Um, I was just being honest, even if, it, if even if you feel like, oh, that's my problem, that's I'm the only one with those problems, you know, it is what it is. Y'all gotta understand when I make videos like that, I know, I know for a fact that those videos tend to do pretty good. Why? Because it's something that's not so positive and it's the ugly part of the G8 that a lot of people don't want to talk about. So I know, okay, people are going to click on it because, oh, they, they, so either you're going to click on it because you really want to know, or you're going to click on it because you want to watch to see what I say and you want to go and put in the comments that, you know, that's not true. Um, either way, you're helping me out. But like I said, the most common question is should I buy a G8? So I decide, why not, since I'm driving to Seguin, go POV style and talk about if you should buy a G8 or not. So my my answer to that question is do what you want. Do what you do what you feel. Like the G8 is fun, don't get me wrong. The G8 is the the best car I've owned to date so far. And I'm saying so far cuz I'm going to have much more. But oh, there's an old old Corvette. The G8 is the best car I've owned so far. Um, if you want one, get you one. But I would say if you can afford one, don't go buy one because everybody's making it. Everybody else has one or don't go buy one because you feel like, oh, Mo make it look cool or whatever. Don't buy one because of me. Buy one because you want one and you can make sure you can actually like afford it. If the, cause there's no sense to go and buy one and you can't afford it. Nowadays you can get, oh, dang all that smoke. Nowadays, nice nowadays you can get you can get uh, a G8 for pretty cheap uh, under 20,000 um, now, now they got I mean there's a lot with a lot of miles on it mines have a hundred and fifty thousand miles on it <laughs> just spinning say this like I said it's up to you whether you want to buy a G8 if you if you really really like the G8 get you one but like I said don't go like don't go buy something just because everybody else is making it look cool just like with the with the Charger and Challenger I, and I know I talk about that a lot like with the Charger and Challenger I do feel like a lot of people buy those cars I mean don't get me wrong I've been in a Challenger I've been in a Charger they nice um, it has a little bit more technology and stuff. Not a little bit more. There's more technology in it and stuff than the G8. Now, I have heard that it's a little bit more expensive to buy um, and to actually make pretty decent power. But that's just from what I heard. I don't have one, so I really don't know. Um, with the G8, it's kind of cheap to mod, to be honest with you. To make decent power, you throw a cam in there and a couple of mods and you have 400 wheel horsepower. So 
I mean, with a Charger and a Challenger, unless you got the 392, the, the RT is all right, but I haven't really seen like no super fast RTs. Um, they quick, but not like fast. It doesn't take much for a GA to, to, to beat a RT. gets up though uh, the only thing is like i haven't like raced any other g8 to my g8 so i don't know how mine compares i feel like there's a couple little things i need to work out with mine but i definitely sometimes feel like the car is a lot faster than what i give it now what it makes on the dyno i don't know I'm, i am kind of curious um on what it makes do i think it makes like maybe mid 300s maybe to the wheels uh i'm thinking on the low side i like to be i don't know i guess i'm being pessimistic but i want i'll try to be realistic at the same time i want to be but sometimes it does feel like i don't know that my butt dyno be feeling like it it makes pretty decent power for what for what i got done to it but like i said i haven't raced any g8 that has the same thing I have done. Um, the best time I got at the track was a 13.2, which, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know. I don't even know what a stock G8 run, to be honest with you. So, if you if you know what a stock G8 run, like if you have a stock G8 and you ran it a couple of times, comment down below. Let me know what your time slip was, because if I'm not mistaken, the 13.2. I, see, I don't even I don't know if that's good or bad. I I would think it's good. Because I've seen, well, I've seen a stock one run uh, 14s. So, I, I don't know. But if you ran your, your G8 stock, comment down below. Let me know what you ran. If you ran what I ran, that means I got some work to do. That's what that means.